are at our first Festival of Legends. Uh, this is the final round of the Tough Sheet uh, National Twin Shark Championship. Now I did um, initially sign up to do this championship but obviously it had a lot of day clashes with the BSMA. Uh, so this is the first round and what a mistake, what a championship this is. I think if you're a vet rider, uh, modern or is, certainly if you're into the Evo scene as well, uh, this is a championship seriously worth looking at. It runs like clockwork, it's smooth. Darren and the crew, very similar to the service Am Amex Nationals, uh, Amateur Nationals. It's just great, great atmosphere, great racing. Anyway, back to me, went out in practice in the morning. Uh, didn't feel too comfortable, which is weird because if you've been watching my episodes um, a couple of weeks ago, I was almost thinking of quitting racing, uh, not feeling very confident and blah, blah, blah. And, kind of like pretty down in the dumps on my racing. Anyway, then uh, on, the, on the Saturday at Roxton, if you remember, I actually just rode round. I, I didn't even feel like I wanted to be there. Sunday I had a talk with Robbie and realized I liked having a good chat with my mates, put a bit of effort in, kind of got into it. Went away on holiday on a cruise around Italy. Ate too much, put a stone on it, wait, and uh, came back. Went to Farley Castle for the service uh, nationals. Uh, really enjoyed it, got in some great battles with my mate Kevin. Uh, I kind of got fired up again. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling like I, I, I'm in love with the sport again. Really. I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing more meetings now. Anyway, come here this weekend, as I said, practice, not feeling, little, feeling a little bit off. Um, so then we went to the first race, got a brilliant jump on the gate. Uh, those who've been following me over the last year or two know that getting out the gate on the 250s has been a nightmare. Timed it perfect, got, got, got the first couple of feet and then uh, I think I made a bit of a bobble or something and not so good going into the first turn. Um, didn't have that same kind of fire that I probably had at um, Barley in the first race. I'm not too sure why or whatever. Um, but I still rode around and but it, my results weren't what they, they should have been so I was towards the back of the pack. Moving on to the second race, I don't know, gave myself a little pep talk again. I'm, uh, I think one of the weird things is I'm, I'm, my confidence is back. I, I'm not getting phased. I, those who know me, I'm, I'm in a band and I'm, I'm found that if I'm singing bits of my songs while I'm on the line, I'm feeling pretty confident and um, uh, it, I'm not, not so, so the, the, the nerves seem to have gone because that's what seemed to be a bit of a problem earlier. I was just like, kind of like, do I really want to be here type of thing. So, gate dropped, second race, um, got pinched off coming out the gate, so I didn't get such a good start, but I was more fired up. Uh, got into good little battles, uh, forced my way through, started riding aggressively, which is something that's been sadly missing in my racing for the last couple of years, really. Um, and worked my way up uh, mid-pack, so I was happy with that. Uh, track was holding up mint, the, the, the track crew, because it? it's a staggering 33 degrees this weekend, uh, no dust at all. The track crew have uh, done a brilliant job of uh, prepping the circuit and um, it's a lot better, it rides better this week as well. There's a, a big step up that used to be causing a lot of accidents here with some of the other championships here in the BSMA and it was really sketchy to clear but they've, they've filled it in now and it's kind of an uphill tabletop and it's much better so credit to the uh, the track owners doing that um, and hopefully they'll keep it that way not just for this uh, um, tough sheet uh, twin shot championship because I think it's a lot safer and the riders it, it, you're not putting it on the line just to try and get up a, a little hill. The only problem I have had is um, my front fork seals on the left hand side went in the first race they are leaking oil quite a bit uh, I am trying to coax the bike through. The only place it's causing me a bit of, because it's a, a twin shop meeting and then there's only one class of modern, there's no suspension guys here to do the air forks so uh, I've got to ride it as best as I can and hopefully it doesn't cause any damage. Uh, the only place it's causing me a big problem is a drop off over the far side and um, I'm coming, I'm having to really hit the anchors and just kind of like plop down off that because it, it, a, a big jump down that it would be rattling my teeth out of my head. Um, so, so I've got the fork seals to worry about. Um, so we went to the third race. Uh, got a brilliant start, really, really good start. Good mid-pack start. My starts really come, come on the last couple of weeks, especially for 
barley. I've seen to have got aggressive as soon as that gate's dropping, I'm, I'm on the gas. Um, started even moving up straight away and then the red flag came came out. I was like, oh, so we're back to the line. Anyway, when we were in the holding there, well, back on the line waiting, I took my helmet and goggles and everything off and uh, then I got the all clear to go, put my helmet on. And then Darren's done the thumb, thumb up down the line to make sure everybody's ready. And I'm, I'm, I haven't got my goggles on and I'm still doing my goggles and my gloves. Gate drops and I'm putting my last glove on. Uh, they're already in the first turn as I've uh, put my goggles on. They're going down the hill. Um, I'm starting the bike on the line. I'm thinking, I don't believe this. I'm right. I've been riding so well. And then uh, they've gone. They're off. They've gone without me. Um, anyway, off I went. And. Um, I've, I've, I've caught them up, with, by, by the second, third turn, I'm right on the back of the wheels of the, the rear guys and I'm starting to move through. And at the finish, if they're shorter races, I think we're getting four or five laps, so I'll still go up to 25th, that's out of a full gate this weekend. So I think it's 36, right, 36 riders in my race. So I'll go up to 25th uh, in the time that I had, which was even better, that's probably my best result so far this weekend as well. So. I'm riding aggressive, if I feel, I mean, I'm clear, the, the, the big table top down the bottom, normally I haven't cleared that for the last year or two with the 250F, I'm clearing it. I even had some sketchy moments just to make sure I was committed to getting past somebody, almost jumped off the side of it. Uh, just to say, I'm really, really loving my race. Uh, it's, it's a festival of legends today, they've got a parade lap for some of the old stars of the sport. Uh, and Jack Burnick was doing some interviews. I'll probably give you a bit of flavour of that. And I'm also doing a little video for Darren anyway. Um, then I think we just got to say two races, so it should be an easy day. It's going to be a real hot one today as well. Yesterday, at least, we had a bit of a cool breeze. Uh, there's no breeze today, Nothing. none of the flags are blowing uh, track side. So it's going to be a pretty hot, tough day, I think. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. But so far, the. Uh, Festival of Legends and uh, the Twin Shock Tough Sheet uh, Championship. I think as a vet rider, this and the Service Amateur Nationals are going to be my main choice. And if you're a vet rider as well, it's seriously worth looking at. This is a, a really, really good championship, whether you're into your Evo bikes, Twin Shocks, or you're a modern bike rider as well. They've got a class for you, and uh, it's a good series. Till that same evening. Just done race four uh, here. That's the first race on Sunday. Obviously, we had the sighting lap, but there's water quite early in the block, uh, so the water the track and uh, gate dropped. Didn't get a very good start. I had better starts this weekend. Um, kind of settled into a place. I didn't feel aggressive enough, especially the two big tabletops down the bottom. There's only two main ruts into them, and they're really narrow. So uh, I didn't ride as aggressively. I caught up with a couple of guys. Ring a ding, two straight down behind me, and the PA. So kind of felt, felt okay though. I was happy with my riding, but probably not the results. Not as good a result as yesterday. We're going to have a check anyway, see how we did. I'm um, doing a bit of filming for a video just for the week, recap of the weekend as well. So uh, we'll get a couple of shots of the other guys. It's going to be very hot. Fortunately, there's a bit of a breeze has picked up again now. So we'll keep you posted how it goes.